All right, so uh, for you guys, the uh, last couple of weeks played much better. You got a winning streak, three game winning streak. And what has been, from a player standpoint, what has been the difference? Um, I kind of talked to it when I uh, talked to uh, him the other time, but I really think it's that we're finally buying into our system. And, uh, you know, the platoon system definitely works for us, and uh, it really incorporates what we're trying to do, and that is bring energy for 40 minutes a game. And, I mean, if you look at it, those last three games, that's what we've done. We've really tried to bring as much energy as possible and really get things going, our tempo and our speed, and it's really worked for us. And, uh, you know, coach has been emphasizing hustle plays, and um, you know, if you look at our our hustle plays, which we consider hustle plays, which is diving on the floor for a ball, taking a charge, saving a ball out of bounds to a teammate, um, we've those have gone up substantially since we started doing this system, and I really think that it's all of us buying into the fact that this is who we are. We're a hustle team. Uh, we run the court and we work hard, and that's how we get W's. Definitely, every win is important. But from, from a team standpoint, what was more important? You either win against a rival Chico or uh, in overtime, coming back, or you either win in overtime against uh, Stanislaus? Uh, it's kind of hard to distinguish between which is more important win. Right now, every win that we get is important for us because we're obviously vying for that um, seat. Uh, on a personal level, obviously, the Chico win was pretty big for me, but I loved watching our team pull that out in overtime. That was just as uh, significant for me and significant for the team, too. What does it say about you guys? I mean, you guys struggled. We're struggling this season. I mean, you guys don't want to say throw in the towel, but hey, it is what it is. So then, you know, players leaving the team, but you know, you get rocky. You guys uh, a new uh, philosophy and the, with the press and you know the rotation, and uh, you guys, like you said, you know, buying into it. But uh, talk about just you guys uh, not giving up and buying into the system. Um, I really think it is a testament to our coaching, and that's the philosophy that they brought in. Is that this season's not over. We definitely were struggling. I mean, there's no doubt about that. I think we were one in seven or one in eight at one point. And uh, you know, when you look at that, and you know, I've been at Humboldt for 50, or, you know, up here for 15 years, and really been paying attention to Humboldt basketball, probably about eight of those. And you don't very often look at the time standard and see Humboldt men's basketball at the bottom of the page. But um, there's no quit in this team. Uh, we all have a bunch of guys. We have 14 guys now who are all keyed in and want to see this team succeed. And we know that we could do it from the beginning. We have the talent. Um, you know, we came in here, we were up by nine on one of the best record-wise teams in the conference in Cal State San Bernie when we were going through our rough patch. And we know that we had the talent, we just had to put it all together. And, um, you know, once we got through our turmoil point uh, with, uh, you know, a lot of changes going on, um, when we bought into the system, I think it really worked. But there's never been a doubt in our mind that we could do this and we could compete with the big boys. Um, I think that we've shown that all season. and. You know, finally now it's paying off in wins, but it's a, I think I really think it's a testament to our coaches, the philosophy that our coaches have tried to instill in us, and uh, just the resilience of our players. Um, you know, nobody likes to lose, and now that we're winning, we're having a lot more fun and doing a lot better. So, hey, you know, your second half of the season, you're facing uh, conference opponents for the second time now. But do you feel like when you're going up against these opponents, that for you guys, they're facing a new team? The fact that you guys have changed things up, there's Get some added, you know, a player or two, but uh, you know, for teams preparing for you, do you feel like it's that much more difficult facing you guys now? Uh, absolutely, and um, it's not. You know, we still have basically the same personnel, but like I said, it's the way we're playing, and uh, we're playing as a team now more than ever. Uh, and it is a different team that you're going to face when we come when we go down there. Or you guys come up here. It's uh, we're we're bought in, we're bought into our system, like I said, and um, you know. It's a completely different team to answer your question. Um, just our attitude, uh, how we approach practice, how we approach preparation. We're so much more locked in now. We're ready to go. You know, we're on our we're on a three game win streak, so we've got a lot of confidence going. We're knocking down shots, and um, you know, we're ready to go. So, if you're if um, you know if a team was coming up here and expecting to blow out Humboldt State just because our record isn't very good, I I, I would tell them to be careful because we have a great team and we're really starting to hit our stride right now. Uh, tough road trip for you guys, San Bernardino, San Diego, uh, Tritons on Friday at San Diego. What do you remember about facing them the last time? I don't think there's a team in this conference that executes quite as well as San Diego does. Um, they were, you know, they're not the most athletically gifted team, but for that, they're probably one of the better coach teams. And um, 
one of the more better execution-wise teams, and they just got a great win against uh, L.A. They went down into L.A. and beat them by 16 points, limited them to 34 points, and that kind of speaks testament to the type of team San Diego is. They're a nails team. They hit you hard on screens. They're physical, and um, you know when we go down there, that's how we got to match. We got to match that intensity. We got to match their execution level, which I'm sure we're going to work on in practice for the next few days. And uh, we got to be ready for them because we weren't, and they came out, they hit some shots, they out physical us the first game, and uh, we're not going to let that happen again, definitely. So when we go down there, we're going to be physical, we're going to be aggressive, and uh, we're going to look to get two big wins. Uh, you know, obviously you touched on the start to the conference season. You know, how big does, I guess, the revenge factor, just seeing it as how many losses you guys have, play into, you know, now going up against teams for the second time in the season? Um, I don't know if revenge factor is the right word. I think more of a redemption type thing is what I would say. Uh, we weren't living up to our potential the first half of the season, and we weren't getting blown out. We all had close games, but we should have won, I feel, at least half those games, if not all of them. And, um, you know, it's not really that we have a personal vendetta against any individual team. It's that we just want to show that we're a completely different team and that we have the potential to hang with the big boys. and. Uh, you know, when we make it to the tournament, which I'm, I'm sure we will, if we keep playing at this level, uh, to watch out for us because you might have overlooked us at first, but you know we're ready to go now. Um, you know, one of the biggest things Coach Kinder preached early in the season was patience. I mean, when things were going bad for you guys, how hard was it to stay patient, not kind of get too down on yourselves when the results were going your way? Well, obviously it was down, but you know, basketball is a day-to-day -day sport, and you know, I know personally coming into the gym to practice. My attitude wasn't different from the beginning of the season to you know when we were 1-7 in conference. I was optimistic, I knew that we could do it, and I think a lot of the teammates did that and had that attitude, and eventually it started to pay off. But um, yeah, I, I think that we've had that attitude of all time, uh, the, the entire season, and um, it's finally paying off, we're finally seeing results. But uh, in regards to your patience, we were very patient, and um, you know, obviously there's some anxiety, uh, you know, we're expected to do well, we're humble state, but, um, you know, we just kind of weathered the storm, and I believe we got stronger. Uh, Coach has a great saying, addition by subtraction, and we got rid of some of the, uh, you know, some stuff that wasn't working for us, and uh, we finally put it all together, and now it's going well for us. All right. Can we take the speech?